It's a lady in London here. Today I'm coming to you from Hampton Court Palace, a beautiful historic royal palace on the outskirts of London. I can't wait to show you around and take you to the highlights of this amazing, amazing historic place. It's easy to get to Hampton Court Palace from London. There are trains from multiple train stations, and the station in Hampton Court is a short walk from the palace itself. Hampton Court Palace dates all the way back to Tudor times, and Henry VIII spent a lot of time here. Successive monarchs left their mark on the palace, and today it's a lesson in living history. The palace itself is worth visiting, and there are over 60 acres of grounds and gardens to see. The wilderness was once Charles II's formal pleasure garden. It's now a beautiful meadow filled with flowers and a maze. William and Mary created the great fountain garden to complement their new Baroque palace. Their gardener created 13 fountains and avenues of radiating yew trees. Queen Victoria opened this palace garden to the public in 1838, and it's been a popular place to visit ever since. The Privy Garden is one of my favorite places at Hampton Court Palace. These formal gardens are beautiful at any time of year, but particularly in the spring and summer. The Privy Garden has been redesigned by various monarchs over the centuries, and today it looks as it did in William III's time in 1701. The pond gardens were once a medieval fish farm. Today, these stunning walled gardens are full of exotic plants from all over the world, some of which Mary II collected. The lower orangery gardens and terrace are beautiful with their formality. One of the most unusual features at Hampton Court Palace is the Great Vine. It's the largest vine in the world. The vine was planted in 1768 by famous English landscape architect Lancelot Capability Brown. Today, visitors can buy the grapes and taste them for themselves. The Tilt Yard was originally a jousting area in Henry VIII's time. Today, it's a beautiful walled garden. The Royal Kitchen Garden is a recreation of William III's walled garden. A selection of old varieties of fruits and vegetables is grown here. The 20th century rose garden features a variety of English roses. If you get hungry while you're visiting, the Tilt Yard Cafe is a great place for a meal or a snack. Thanks for coming around Hampton Court Palace with me. I hope you enjoy the tour and I hope you get a chance to come here yourself someday. As always, there's more on my blog, aladyinlondon.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel before you go. Happy travels.